Hi, welcome to Jack's Tech World. Uh, today I want to give an update to how I am running WoW, what add-ons I'm using, macros, how to set up your uh, Tartar Speed 2. Uh, first off, I'll show you the add-ons that I'm running. I have details, gather mate, trade skill master, ELV UI, deadly boss mod, those are the main things that I'm running. I got a few other things in here like max DPS just to learn new classes that I've never played. And announce rares. Now what I'm doing this time around is I have dropped a bar tender four and I'm just using uh, ELV UI. I figure why well, have an extra add on when I have one that can do almost everything. But what I'm doing this time around is I'm going to be using all the, basically all the defaults, except for movement. I have uh, added the up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow into the key binds. Action bars, I'm gonna keep one through uh, equal. And then I'm also going to be using control uh, F1 through F10. But if you followed uh, my old uh, walkthrough, you have F1 through F9, and then 1 through 9, 0, and F12. And your directional pad will be up, right, down, left. And in here, we're going to do, so in L, E, L, V, U, I, we're gonna go action bars and we're gonna enable them. Go over to player bars and you'll have one, two, three, four, five, and one through five will be enabled. Bar one will be your default bar, which you can see here it has one, two, three, four, five already marked for your uh, keyboard. The other bars will not have anything marked for them. We're gonna have to set that up. I have bar one set to the top for the Tartarus. And if you scroll down and here, you will see how many buttons. I have mine set up for nine buttons, five buttons per row. That leaves number 10 here empty, which is where I use that for uh, jump. And then bar two will be this bar here. I have that set up for 10 buttons, five buttons per row. And this 10th button will be this button here. And then I just have a bar three here just with a single button. Once you come down here, you say one button. And that will be here. So now that we have that organized, what I will do is go in here and I want to set it up exactly the same way as this. So button recording, I'm just going to set that up as one, two, three, X. Oops, save. Eight. <clears throat> Nine, and that's gonna be my jump. And I'll come down here and I'm just gonna go. Nine. Make this zero.
And these are going to be the control uh, F1 through F9. So if you hold down control and you hit F1, it'll set it up for you. Control F1. Oh, two, three. all set up again we'll go back into here and under general tab here we have this key bind mode now we just hover our mouse over what we want and we'll go control F1 and then put it over the next one control Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. And this one was uh, Number nine and zero. <clears throat> this one has to keep any noise out there. That one should be nine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and control F1. Nine. Okay. okay. I see what I did wrong here. I put nine here and nine here. So make this just to keep it going down the line. I'll make that zero. And this will be minus because that's a default key also. That's nine. This will be zero. And this will be zero. And this will be minus. And that corresponds with everything we have set up here. Click save. Now, one thing here. I don't like the joypad to turn. I like to turn with my mouse. So what I'll do here is I like to strafe. So I'll change those. Click OK. Now if I press buttons. Just to recap, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, space, control F1, control F2, control F3, control F4, control F5, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and minus. Those are all default uh, key bindings. We set that up in ULVI. 
One thing I did too, because I, I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago, but I did make this circle, or I got this weak aura to make a circle around my cursor because I'm always losing it. It just helps see it better. Actually, forget where I got this. Actually, there it is, URL. And I found a bunch of things here that show resources for the all the different uh, classes. And some of these need to be all cleaned out. Got old stuff from BFA. Essences. And you just need to go through and clean these out. But these will just show a uh, bar showing like uh, how many runes I have left, how much runic power I have. What abilities you have available based on how many runes you have and whatnot, just to give suggestions. Kind of like uh, the max DPS add-on that I have, which I really don't pay attention to anymore. I just use it for new classes like I'm running on Warlock now. I haven't run a warlock in probably eight years. It sat there at level like 20 something forever. Decided to start using him again. Because I had to relearn everything. Um, other than that, not much has changed except um, since you're kind of limited on how much you can actually put on the Tartarus. I went and made a macro for my cooldowns. <clears throat> um, some, of, some, some things that have uh, the same cooldown, which I got uh, Empower Rune Weapon, Blood Fury, and Raise Dead, all in one macro. It's here on number nine. By pressing that one button, does all three of those abilities since they're all on the same uh, cooldown timer it is like the raised dead has two minutes and power rune weapons are two minute uh, blood fury is also a two minute cooldown so once they all pop back up i just hit that button cast them all again and that just saves a little bit of space when it comes to macros you just got to play around with it because if they're on uh global cooldown and stuff it doesn't work right so you gotta make sure you're piecing things together that can go together details it's all set to default nothing special set up in it I just watched the as of right now that is about it thank you <laughs>